Hey there, I get to speak with a YouTube success today who has thousands of subscribers. His name is Chef Kills for the People. He has a unique story and wonderful recipes on YouTube. Let's go find out his story. Tasty, very lovely. You see the plating, it's really good, really nice. I wouldn't say so if it wasn't. I'm here with Mark Kills, who is known as Chef Kills for the People. Chef, talk to me a little bit about your story and where you got your passion for cooking. Well, I was born and raised in Marcy Projects, Brooklyn, New York. Uh, six siblings, beautiful mother and father. They tried their best to make sure that we never went hungry. Uh, but we did have a, a recognizable amount of wish sandwiches. Uh, chicken What's bat. that? <laughs> it's two pieces of bread and you wish you had meat in it. Oh, uh, yeah. It makes sense. Exactly. I've always wanted more. Mm. Uh, and I always knew that eventually in time that things were going to get a lot better. When I was 17, I signed up for the Marine Corps. Went in when I was 18. It was then I said to myself, a TV dinner would never pass my lips again. So I started watching uh, others cook. I started practicing. I started pretty much living in the kitchen. And ever since then, I'm 60 years of age now, I have not touched a TV dinner. That is so amazing. Thank you. Talk to me a little bit about some of the foods that you like to cook now. So I like going out my comfort zone. So with that said, I prepare Asian fusion dishes, uh, Greek dishes, soul food, mm -hmm. Spanish food. Oh, my rice and beans, are, they're, they're awesome. Uh, yes. <laughs> Wish I could try. <laughs> yes, and you can. My platform on my channel is simple. Anything you have in your refrigerator, freezer, or cabinet, you can make something delicious with. So how did you become the YouTube success that you are? You have thousands of followers now and so many people that are just looking to see how you do what you do. Persistence, remaining humble, and marketing. I've given out approximately over 1,058 cards. Uh, I stop and speak to people in the supermarkets, which I'm at five days a week, and mm -hmm. that's how I get the word out. And you just kind of started from scratch with YouTube, right? Absolutely. Uh, I sat back and came up with this notion about two years ago. You know, I'm going to try this. And I went and was asking a few people. Nobody knew how to get it started. So I clicked on YouTube. I watched approximately 38 hours of tutorials. Drove me crazy, but <laughs> I did it. And Dedication. And Exactly. And then I wrote down a step-by-step -step plan and then I implemented that plan. Talk to me a little bit about the importance of eating healthy uh, for people in general, but also specifically for people of color. So now more than any time before, 10, 20, 30 years ago, we see a lot of food manufacturers cooking with chemicals and with additives that you can't even pronounce, let alone spell. And that can't be good for the body. Especially like myself, I am African American and I also have high blood pressure. So I try to stay mindful of my sodium intake and I just try to eat good and eat healthy now that I can afford to. And it's good for everyone. It, it can extend your, your, your lifeline. It can also reduce your hypertension uh, if you have suffered from heart conditions or anything else or just simply weight loss problems. Uh, uh, cooking healthy and wise is a good start. So one thing that I notice about chefs is that there's a sort of service, a heart for service. Do you feel that you have that? I do. And what I've done, and my, my coworkers, they're, they're excellent. I, I started bringing food in for them to taste this, taste that. And um, they also helped me champion my cause uh, by putting the word out as well. Uh, but... What I plan to do is once I retire, again, in almost two years from now, I am going to uh, have a, either a food cart or a food trailer, and I'm going to once a month load it up to the gill and go to places like uh, uh, Sin City, Harrisburg, and other places, and I'm just going to have a free meal giveaway while supplies last. Once a month. That's paying things forward. Talk to me a little bit about the title that you go by, Chef Kills for the People. Where, where did the inspiration come from? Well, I enjoy cooking for others. And not only do I enjoy it, but I'm obligated to give back to what was given to me, paying things forward. 
And I know what it feels like to be hungry. And there's a lot of hungry people out there. So I'm not doing it for myself. I'm not doing it for an establishment. I'm doing it for the people. And one other thing that you're Blessed. offering is education and Absolutely. teaching them how to cook. Absolutely. Can anybody learn? Absolutely. My channel is very easy to follow. I go step by step with my illustrations. I articulate what I'm doing and I show from prep to plate in approximate time frame and how it's done. To me, a plate is like a blank canvas to an artist. Mm -hmm. Appearances and optics are, they're an absolute. Mm -hmm. And so I try to give it my best version as I try to offer my best copy of myself to everyone. And you said the kitchen is the best place to create. Exactly. A whole house. It's my stress reliever. It brings out and draws out my creativity. And I know it's going to be good because I'm preparing it. So what do you hope your work does for people out there? I hope it inspires others to, number one, uh, become financially independent, to uh, learn how to eat healthy, and to also pay it forward. You know, these are trying times we're in. There's no certainties, no guarantees. So we have to try to create some ourselves. And this is a good start. Yeah. And you can't, you can't lose doing it this way. You can't. So Chef Kills, today we are making what exactly? Today we're making a Greek watermelon salad. Very simple, very easy, very delicious. How'd you come up with this idea? I went, I was in my kitchen one day and I said to myself, I want to do something different, something refreshing. Um, Greek ingredients are wonderful, they're strong, that's the savory portion. I wanted to add something to it for the sweet and, and palate cleansing um, portion of it. And that's when I came into the thought of making a Greek watermelon salad. Uh, did you have any sort of training or did you just kind of get into it so naturally? I'm self-taught, self-made, and I prefer it that way. It reminds me of my roots. It reminds me of, of growing up and the desire to want better and to want more for myself. Yes. And I'm very intrigued to learn a little more about yourself here uh, with your original dish. So let's go ahead and see what we got cooking. Okay, let's do that. So this is very simple. And again, anyone and everyone can prepare this at home. So I started with a very small, uh, personal size, sweet, seedless watermelon. And I've took the liberty of cutting up some slices for you. Mm. Um, and very sweet, very nice. Yeah. That's so, a good pick. Oh, absolutely. And let me just roll out the rest of the ingredients. We have the Greek salad dressing marinade. We have some Kalimata olives, pitted, very tasty. We have some Parmesan cheese. Here we have one of my favorites, stuffed cheese pepperoncini peppers. They're not hot. They're very robust in flavor and it goes well, it matches well with the watermelon. And this is Mediterranean feta cheese crumble. Very simple. Well, let's jump right in. Okay. So now most people, when they make salads, everything gets dumped in a bowl and you don't see the beautifulness of the plate. You don't see that canvas, that painting being done. So I like constructing it on the plate. So first thing I'm gonna do Take the spoon. I'm going to strategically plant some of these cheese loaded pepperoncini peppers. And, and for my viewers' sake, I try to again uh, use the ingredients that they can find in any store, any bodega, any farmer's market so that it's available to them and they can replicate the dish. Kalamata olives. Again, you're painting a canvas. Here you go, and you can put as little or as much as you like. I love olives. <laughs> Outstanding. <laughs> so now, we'll move on to the feta cheese. Now with this, I'm going in. Ready to go in? I'm ready I'm to go in. I'm going in. Okay. Always with cheese. Okay. 
So here we go. Just crumble that. I love cheese. So I know your full-time job uh, is a corrections officer. Yes, ma'am. So, you know, how does it feel to do this on the side? And, you know, how does it feel to every day go back in and still have to be a public servant? So I enjoy doing what I do for a living. I take pride in being a public servant and it pays the bills. This is my reward. This is not a job for me. This is a pleasure. This is a stress reliever for me. All right, so now a little bit of the sprinkled palm. And one thing I noticed here is that you're a servant on your full-time job, and then you're also a servant on your part-time job. Absolutely, absolutely. Yep. So now we're going to go ahead and shake it. Make sure you fully incorporate all the ingredients in this bottle. Now, I prefer very little, so I'm just going to splash it. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Whereas I prefer very a lot. <laughs> <laughs> go for it. So I'm going to go ahead and go for it. Have some fun with it. Yes. There we go. Cooking should always be fun. Always. Wow. Well, I'm ready to taste this and see what kind of flavor we got Let's out go of this. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. <laughs> All right. Mm. That is delicious. It is. It's a perfect combination. It is. Of sweet and savory. When you're eating the peppers or the kalamata olives or the feta, you get this nice robust gathering mm -hmm. in your mouth. And then when you hit the watermelon, it cleanses your palate. It washes it down. Mm -hmm. And man, that's a wonderful thing. Well, as you can see, my plate here is almost clean. Thanks that to Chef Q. Thank you so much. If you'd like to learn more information about Chef Kill's recipes and this wonderful Greek watermelon salad, visit Chef Kill's For the People at YouTube.com. For The Spark, I'm Anaya Falcon. And I'm Chef Kill's For the People, baby. That you are. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>